often say that municipal government is the level of government that most closely touches people's day-to-day -day lives. Recreation centers like this are a perfect example of that. They are the heart and the soul of what local government is all about. This is where you come to learn to swim when you're a kid. It's where you come to go public skating with your friends as a teenager. It's where hockey teams and swim teams experience the joy of victory and maybe the odd pain of defeat. The rec center is where families spend time together, where friendships are formed and memories are made. 43 years after Vic Road was built, we knew it was time for a renovation. We also knew it was important to get it right. It's thanks to the vision, leadership, and the dedication of former Mayor Norm Jerry and the City Council of the day that this facility actually got built 43 years ago. Norm, you have said that when your council built this center, it wasn't about the bricks and mortar. It was about the families, the children, the seniors who would have new opportunities for fitness and recreation here that they did not have before. This renovation project today was also about people and the citizens of our great community. You're going to be very, very impressed with what they have done here to this facility. Wow, it's just marvelous. This letter I wrote back on October the 9th in 1974 to the Citizens of the Year, now 2017, this message is written so that you will better understand how we thought and how we planned. It is not enough to say we built this Victoria Road Recreation Center so that people could use it for their pleasure and enjoyment. Rather, we built it because we believe in the future. We built it because the thousands of young people who will benefit by it today will be the leaders of your day tomorrow. It certainly is time for us to celebrate today. Um, it's also great to see two mayors, decades apart, recognizing the work of staff and the incredible importance of recreation in our community. The new Victoria Road Recreation Center is an inviting, accessible, and secure community gathering space. It's a place for swim meets, hockey tournaments, and summer camp. It's a place where children and families can learn, discover, and get active. We're also excited to introduce new leisure and recreation programming based on, our commu on your community feedback for this facility. And as you will hear from my colleagues speaking after me, I'd also like to thank staff who have worked on this project. In particularly, I'd like to thank Colleen Clack and Heather Flaherty for their leadership in getting this facility reopened and better than ever. Thank you. Um, when I started with the city over 10 years ago, this project was on the capital budget list and it took a long time to get us here today and many, many staff over the years worked hard to keep this project forefront and so there's a number of them mostly standing in the back and so I'd like to thank all of the former staff who came out today to celebrate with us. The city has a relatively new system of how we categorize our capital project projects into tiers based on the complexity and this was one of our first projects that we categorized as a tier one capital project and I'm very pleased to also say that it came in on time and on budget. Mr. Mel Davis, I believe, is in the crowd today. Today we remember Victor Davis, for which the pool has been named for. His achievements will live on and inspire athletes as they use the pool to fulfill their dreams. I know it's been a long couple of years for all of us. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your patience, your support, and we look forward to having you back participating in high quality, accessible programs that are enjoyable, relevant and safe for all ages. Please enjoy the, the activities planned for you today. It's an exciting facility. There's many staff that are able and available to answer questions and take you through the self-guided tours. I'm looking forward to all of those swimmers that are gonna jump into the pool for the first time. And Mr. Bentley Mitchell, who is right here at the front, who is gonna be our first pool patron on the pool pod. And the pool pod, which is an accessible lift in this facility, is the first pool pod in Ontario, second in North America, in the city of Guelph has it. Now I ask 
for everyone to grab those scissors and let's get in front of this ribbon. Five, four, 